Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 18th video in React series. Okay, in our previous video, we have seen about NPM, what is Node Package Manager and we have learned everything about NPM. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to install Bootstrap, how to use Bootstrap in our React project. So inside index.js, you can see I have already imported my app and here I am just writing this app component. Now inside app.js, I am just importing this React from React. I have this function and inside written, I have just written this syntactic sugar form and here I am just exporting that one. Okay, here I have this components folder. I am just going to delete this entire thing. Okay, later on we are going to use that one. So I am just going to delete that. Now inside index.js, I have this app and inside app, I am just exporting that app and here I have this function. Now we will see how to install Bootstrap, how to use Bootstrap in this Okay, open terminal. Okay, the short form is control J. Just open the terminal of your VS code editor and it will be opened. If you have started your development server inside this terminal, then you just have to do control C. You have to stop your development server and then you have to install bootstrap. Now here I have this. Okay, come to browser. I'll just refresh this one. This was our previous program. Now inside Google, you just have to write here npm bootstrap just click on enter now you will find this first link click on this first link inside this website we are having this code to install you can see here npm i bootstrap if you just scroll down you can see here weekly downloads there are around 30 lakh 90 people weekly downloads okay these are just weekly downloads not monthly downloads once in a week this many downloads have been done here we will be having this code we just have to copy this one Inside this terminal, I'll just paste that one here. Okay, npm, i stands for install and bootstrap. I'll just click on enter and it will take some time. And this is the package of npm and this package data will be stored inside this package dot json. I'll just reduce this little bit. Now here, if you see, I have this react, I have this react dom, react scripts and web vitals. Now, once I install this bootstrap, the bootstrap data, the bootstrap version will be stored inside this dependencies and complete data of that particular package will be stored inside this package log JSON. Okay, once it get installed, then we will see how to import bootstrap and how to use bootstrap in our projects. Now you can see here my bootstrap has been installed now. Now if I show you inside package dot JSON. You can see here inside this dependencies bootstrap has been added and the version is 5.0.2 which is the latest version bootstrap 5 and that has been installed here okay and the data whatever version we are having that will be stored inside this dependencies inside this package.json and inside this package log json we will be having extra information about that particular package i'll just search here control f and here i'll be searching for bootstrap here you can see I am having this bootstrap and here I am having this version resolve integrity. Okay, extra information I will be having about that package inside this package log JSON. Okay, once we have installed this bootstrap, you can see once we have installed this bootstrap and once we got this version, I will just close this terminal now. I will just come to this browser, this official website of NPM and inside this I am installing this bootstrap. Now if you just scroll down, you will be having all this table of contents, how to start this one. Now here you can see here what's included inside this particular section. Okay, inside bootstrap. Now this package, this dependencies will be stored inside this node modules folder. Now we will see inside the CSS, you can see here we have this grid.css. We are going to use min.cs. Okay, you can see here min.css. Now here for CSS, we are going to use this min.css. For JavaScript, we, are, we will be using min.js. Now these files will be available inside our node modules folder. I'll just come here. Inside node modules, we have to search for bootstrap. I'll just come down. You can see here, I have this bootstrap here. I'll just come here. You can see I have this bootstrap dependency here. Inside this bootstrap, I'll be having this dist folder. You can see a dist folder. Just click on this. Now inside this dist folder, I have this CSS and JS. You can see inside CSS, I'll just increase this one. You can see here I have this grid.css, grid.css min. I'll just come to app.js. Now I want to use bootstrap in this particular file. I'll just come on top. I'll just come to bootstrap here. 
bootstrap okay i'll just import now i'll be writing here import okay now this file is inside my node modules so i'll just write here you can see i'll be having this mode node modules folder inside this i want to use this bootstrap i have this bootstrap folder and inside this folder i have this dist folder and inside this dist folder i have this css folder and inside the css folder i want to just give this one bootstrap bootstrap i have this one i'll just come down you can see i have this bootstrap dot min dot css this one bootstrap dot min dot css i'll save this now i'll just create one button here now for this button i'll just give the class name class name i'll be giving btn btn success okay these are bootstrap classes i'll save this now if i just refresh this you can see i'm getting this green button here i'll just give some text here i'll be giving here success success button i'll save this now if i refresh you can see i'm having this success button bootstrap is been applied bootstrap classes i am able to apply first okay there are three steps first you have to go to official website of npm bootstrap and you have to copy that link and second step is in terminal you have to install that link and once it is been installed all the metadata of that particular file will be stored inside package.json and more information about that package will be stored inside package log json and inside this node modules we will be having this bootstrap we will be having this bootstrap dependency and inside this depend bootstrap we have this dist folder then next we have this css folder and from css i need only this one bootstrap min dot css i'll just reduce this now i have to import like this in whichever file you want to use this one you just have to import that you have to write this two dots you have to come outside that particular folders you should go inside this node modules folder inside this node modules folder i will be having this bootstrap folder inside this bootstrap i have this dist folder you can see here on my left side inside bootstrap i have dist folder inside dist folder i have css folder and inside css folder i have to import only this one bootstrap min dot css i am just writing this one and even you have to do the same thing i'll just decrease now now here once i use this one i can use bootstrap classes here now if i just come to npm official website and here if you just see here we will be having the link to get started with this you can see here bootstrap documentation included in this repo in the root directory is built in hugo and publicly hosted on github pages at i'll just click on this link and you can see here it will be redirected to official website of bootstrap and this is the same bootstrap we were using in html css okay if you know about bootstrap you can just easily do this one if you are not aware of bootstrap then you don't have to worry you just have to come to this website and here inside this you will be having all these options if i just copy the forms from here i'll just come here i'll copy this form control i'll just click on this and here i'm just going to copy this one and instead of this button i'll just paste that code and here we will be having this class okay instead of class we have to write class name so i'll just write here class name i'll just replace i just want to replace that by class name i'll just do replace all now i am still having some errors now input field it's not closed in react we have to close all the elements i'll just close this one here and i have only one input field my text area is closed my div container is closed now if i save this and now if i just you can see my form has come here my email this email text area everything has come whatever form i am having here that has been come inside my react okay this is how we are going to use bootstrap inside our projects and in next tutorial we will make a simple project using bootstrap we will make a simple cart project and then you will understand in a better way how to use bootstrap Okay, now that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.